This is us. This, this is two guys on motorcycles getting gas in Qingdao. Yes. So this is in Qingdao when we did the conquering northern China. Very rich developed city. Because this is a quick little snippet we put together. Take a look. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the sign there says Moto Chu Jiao Zhan. Okay. So that this this is oh Jiao Chu. I did, let me go back. Sorry. Let me just make sure I didn't I misquote did, the I? sign. Yeah, sorry, Jiao Chu. So the this is the the motorbike refueling area. Yes. Okay, this little blue square that you can drive onto here, okay? Don't swear. Oh sorry, yeah. Hey look, they've got a little camera and everything. Really? Yeah, they're really sorted out here. Um, okay, well, let's fill her up, eh? I'll get one, you get one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be one. Like, let's just fill one of these. You don't think it's going to be one whole one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Deng Ji. Really? Yep. No, we got a Deng Ji with our Shif and Jung or I know, but I get, do, do we get to fill our own bikes? <laughs> I don't know. So weird. Yeah. Oh, shit, mine's in my bag. Can you help me? Yeah, just like it's in that. It's a freaking. What do they just do? Oh, yeah. they have to then register our our license plate numbers here. Yeah. <coughs> huh? Zaijian. Nope. Okay, so Why do we just show you getting <laughs> gas? Well, it's very important for you to understand that in China, mm -hmm. we had to drive a motorcycle up to a specific area away from the gas station. Yes. Grab teapots. Yeah, you have to have a teapot because you're not allowed to fill up at the pump. Not allowed to fill up at the pump. Mm -hmm. You have to go bring your passport inside register they'll scan your passport and yep. then now they know where you were with your all of your information all of your data your visa everything about you then they have to register your vehicle's license you have to show your vehicle's registration all the while your vehicle and you are being monitored on cameras inside and outside directly on your bikes yes then you have to bring that certification over to the gas attendant yes which will then fill up the the teapots, teapots which yeah. you then can go bring over yeah these are more like watering cans like, watering cans yeah, yeah whatever um now, the reason we're bringing this up is that if you think that's crazy, imagine going to Xinjiang in Western China where they don't really want foreigners to go to, to actually see Well, not, see not foreigners. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the genocide that's happening there. For those of you who might be confused as to why they have to use a teapot slash watering mm. can, it's this bizarre rule in China. Um, and it's not in all the provinces, but it's in... The majority of provinces, you know, I found. Yeah. Um, and it's because like in the 80s, once a motorcycle caught fire at a pump at a gas station once. And since then, they implemented this stupid rule that there's no sense behind it. No. But if you're going to fill up a motorcycle, it can't be anywhere yeah. near the pumps. So you have these like little areas far away from the pumps. And then you have to go fill up a freaking teapot sloshing around open yeah, gas it's everywhere. flying everywhere. And by the way, do you know how many people I've seen spill the whole thing? <laughs> yeah. They trip or they drop it and the gas goes everywhere. And guess what? People they're smoke. smoking cigarettes. People they're smoke. doing it. They don't stop the smoking. Yeah. It's a dumb, stupid rule. And it's one of these... These lack of common sense things that you can only find in countries like China, yeah. where it's top-down leadership. Part, yeah, top-down leadership. Yeah. Because no one can question it. No. You just have to go with it, right? Yeah. But you just saw the the hoops we had to jump through just to, to get, get gas. to get gas. So yeah. it's become now fairly common for very rich Chinese people yeah. to get into uh, motorcycle adventuring. Yes. Okay. But it's. Like big stuff on BMWs and yeah. what have what, you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, so we thought we'd show this is a rich life, well, a woman who does this this stuff. And yep. uh, this is her experience filling up in Xinjiang. I'll get us Chinese out of here. Woman. Yeah, Chinese woman, okay? Yeah, see allowed, what she has to do. She's allowed to go properly. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what she, she has to do. So she so, says, go to the gas station and take out the certificates of registration. So like what we had to do. We had to show yes. our registration book for our bike. Yes. That's whatever, right? After registration, driver and motorcycle go into the cage. I think she's joking. There's actually like a cage. Watch. The cage is small. Be careful to not, not scratch. Yeah. yeah. It says, after entering the cage, 
Remove the helmet for facial recognition. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no joke. Not a joke. No, no, it's not a joke. Actually, did, did we miss a subtitle there? I feel like we might have missed a... Um, I don't think so. Okay, let's just make sure. You'll see the cage in a minute. Okay. No, it's the same. You have to present your ID card. Yes. Okay, so now Just like we us with our passport, yeah. right? In China, your ID card, it's it's a smart card, so it's got a chip in it. Yeah. And it's got all of your information. They chip you, bro. Yeah, exactly. They, chip, they did chip you in China. Yes, exactly. All, all those people that are worried about Microsoft Microchips putting a the, microchip under your skin. Vaccines. In your <laughs> vaccine. That, remember that woman? She's like, oh, shit, now I'm chipped. Because <laughs> a spoon stuck to her sweat. <laughs> You get idiots everywhere. Okay? Anyway, so yeah. yeah, this actually does happen in China. Yes, Your ID yes. card that you have to carry everywhere with you does yeah. have a chip in it, yes. okay? And it's a smart card. So you have to scan your ID. So yes. now the government knows not only exactly where you are and what you're doing, but how much petrol you filled up and all yeah. that. And you get the facial recognition, right? So you scan your, your ID, okay? And it says, now you have to wait for the staff in this cage. And look at this little, it's like when you're in prison and they yeah. give you like a bowl of slop through. You yeah. see, you always see yeah, that in, like the, in the movies. Yeah, in the movies. Yeah. yeah. So now you've got a little little hole over there, okay? Yeah. They say, pass the oil bucket out of this gap. In other words, they're going to give you your petrol through there. So you open your fuel tank cover, okay? Align the tube, otherwise it will spill. Okay, we know that part. But you can see it's another one of those teapot things, yeah. right? They never got rid of the pots. No. Um, and shake, all the shake down is, oh, and then so you, you say, return. Yeah, so yeah. Now, yeah. I also want you to notice that the gas attendant that's helping her is is she's wearing a helmet and like a body armor. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Stab-proof vest. Yep. And he's wearing a freaking helmet. And then it's like, after fueling. After refueling. Yeah, after refueling. I ride the motorcycle out of the cage. Okay, and it's got like a little boom over here. The whole process takes only half an hour. It takes half an hour. It's like takes only half yeah. an hour. Okay. She's being sarcastic. Yeah. Obviously. Simple specification, convenience, yeah. saving. Saving time. Saving. She's being sarcastic. You think so? Yes, absolutely. I can tell by the tone. Welcome okay. to the beautiful Shinjo. There, there was something else she said there. Just give me a second. Um, yeah, it says welcome. Oh, yeah, I just no, read that's, that. There was something else that we It says missed. welcome to beautiful Shinjo. Yeah, the, the oh, overwhelming so. sense of ritual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the beautiful Xinjiang. Okay, so just to recap, she gets there. She has to show her registration to the soldier. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So there's a soldier with it's a military. With a freaking helmet there. Yeah. Okay. In her who's own gonna, country. Yeah, who's there to, you know, assist you. He's a soldier with a helmet and body armor. Yeah. Show the registration. Go scan your ID card. Get yes. facial recognition yes. to make sure that someone's not using someone yeah. else's ID card. Because and make sure you're not a Uyghur yeah. that's going to go blow something up because yeah. that's what they think you're a terrorist. That's the whole point of this, by the yeah. way, is they're worried about people getting gasoline and using it to make Molotov cocktails. To blow up CCP buildings. Yeah. That's the only that's reason. the only they reason this. they've done this. Yeah. So they make sure, oh, yeah, it's really you, okay, when you're in this cage, by the way. So in case, like... I guess if it like turns out that it's not you, then they can just beat the shit out of you in this cage yes. and you can't escape. Well, is this not very indicative of what they're doing to the Uyghurs yeah. in Xinjiang, this province? Yeah, this is for, and this is for just everyone, yeah. right? You have to wait for your slop to be handed to you through this little thing. Is it her country? That I didn't mean it like that. I mean, according to her, this is her country, and she's yeah. probably like, well, why do I have to do all this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They fill you up, and then only when they're like satisfied, mm. the, the soldier takes the stuff away, then you have to... Go out and the boom gate opens so you can escape the cage. Dude. Half an hour. <laughs> Half an hour. Just because the Han CCP government is worried that Uyghurs are violent terrorists that are going to blow them up. That's what this is. I mean, the fact that we had to do that in Qingdao, yeah. which is far away from Xinjiang. Yeah, but do you know what? Whenever you go to those places that have heavy restrictions on where you can get gas, they always have a cartoon picture of a bearded terrorist. They do. Remember those propaganda things? And they'll be yeah. like, don't be careful of them filling up Molotov cocktails. And it's like a curly haired bearded terrorist that they yeah. draw. I mean, it's he, very apparent what China thinks. I think there's an easy way around this, by the way. What? You just go fill up a car. Yeah. And then siphon the gas out. And most people don't know. They actually, siphon locks are on, on a lot of cars now. It doesn't matter. You can defeat them. You could still defeat them. Like if it's your car, you can defeat it. There's a way to do it. Yeah. You drill a hole in the the tank and have like a spigot. Could have a spigot. You know know what I mean? I I feel like it's very easy to do in like a Mian Bao Che or something. Yeah. Like if you're going to go do something, you're going to figure it out. The Mian Bao Che is not going to have like an anti-siphon on it. No. It'll just be a 
a pot in there. Yeah. It's been welded it's in there. It's actually just one of those. Yeah, it's parts. just one of those. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah. you get one of your Han friends who's, like, yeah. sympathetic to just go fill up his car. Yeah. Just not often, though. Right. Just anyway, go, let's not. We're not. Yeah. That's I'm just, how someone would I'm do it. I'm just saying, yeah. like, that's how you would do it. Yeah. I'm, obviously, I'm not it's trying not to give. Happen. I'm not going to give suggestions no. here. I'm just saying, like. This whole process could be defeated, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's, and that it's, it's dumb silly. and it's a stupid, heavy-handed oversight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Not again! <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Selfish ass grab hags. Yeah, they just grab hags. They want photos of that. They still won't get a good picture. No. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They love destruction, the and he'd have a drink, and he'd turn into a freaking tomato. It really must suck if you're Asian and you're trying to like have a little sly drink with your parents, not knowing oh, yeah. or something. <laughs> I guess. You know what I mean? <laughs> you well, can't. Yeah. What a sucky way to die. Die by peanut. Yes. You know what I mean? Imagine that on your <laughs> gravestone. Died death by dead by peanut. Death by peanut. <laughs> <laughs>